Fighters, it's Friday, June 17th, and this week I actually did read City of Bones by Cassandra Clare. City of Bones is an urban fantasy novel about this girl, Clary, whose mother is kidnapped, and she kind of finds herself thrown into this world of demons and people who hunt demons called Seattle Hunters. And it's about her trying to get her mother back and getting caught up in this bigger scheme of things. I read it because a few weeks ago, when I first sight read it on Tumblr, uh, there's this big thing about one of the main characters being cast. And the people of Tumblr were really enthusiastic about it. So I definitely expected it to be good, and it was. I really enjoyed the plot and the characters. Although, um, some of it was kind of... It felt old. Like, I'd seen it, you know, all before. And there were some moments in the book where it would kind of ruin the effect for me. But mostly, it would only last for a moment, and I would go back to enjoying the book completely. Although the last half of the book is almost all, like, plot turns and twists, and I figured out most of them before they were revealed. So that kind of ruined the effect of a bunch of things for me. And there's this one, one plot twist, but if you read it, um, the disturbing one is what I can say about it here. And I figured that one out. And I, I hoped it wasn't going to, I hoped it was going in another direction, and I just was mistaken, but it did go that direction. And I had to look it up to make sure that she would change it later on, because if she hadn't changed that, that, that would have ruined the entire book for me. Because to make somebody shift two characters and then have that to happen to them, that is evil. It's, it's really evil. I, I had to look it up to make sure before finishing the book. And that is it. So Harry Potter comes out in less than a month. So next week I'm going to read The Sorcerer's Stone and um, and The Chamber of Secrets. I'm looking forward to that. And I don't think there are any questions, so everybody have a great weekend. And Dan, I'll see you on Monday.